What's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna talk about the Tamron 45 millimeter 1.8 and see if it's still good in 2022 and so on. And just to get straight to it, this Tamron 45 is still a really awesome lens to use. It has a 67 millimeter filter thread. The maximum aperture is f1.8 and the minimum aperture is f16. Tamron has come a long ways in the lens world. But just a few years ago, I had the Tamron 28 to 75 and that was okay. And then now that I bought this 45 1.8, it is definitely a game changer. They've definitely made a huge improvement. And yeah, this 45 definitely opened my eyes to Tamron lenses. So one of the good things about this Tamron lens is that it's really sharp, wide open at f1.8. Another cool thing about this lens too is that it's actually weather sealed. And this lens does have vibration control. It's ca actually called vibration compensation. It's actually right on the side of this lens here. You do have the option to turn it off or on. I usually leave mine on during low light situations or if I'm using slower shutter speeds, I will always leave it on. Definitely leaving on the autofocus because the manual focus. While it's really nice and smooth, I just like the autofocus. <laughs> I mean, uh, I do know some photographers that love manual focus. I just prefer autofocus. So are you guys autofocus or manual focus? I'd like to know if you guys are shooting autofocus or manual focus. But anyways, yeah, just going back to the lens again, I wouldn't be afraid to shoot at like one fifth of a shutter speed on my Nikon D3. That just show, goes to show how well the vibration compensation is on this lens. At one fifth shutter speed, it's actually not too bad as you can see here. I'm um, just going to the bad stuff. It's not really bad. It's just more nitpicking is that chromatic aberration is prominent if you're looking. You can easily fix that in Photoshop or Lightroom. It's not too bad though. It's not really a bad thing, but it's just a size. If you do have the 50 millimeter 1.8G, the 45 is a lot bulkier. It is a slightly heavier compared to the 50 1.8G. It's just nitpicking. I don't mind the bulkiness of it, but some other photographers do. So yeah, there's not too many bad things about it. That says a lot about it already. So yeah, I really do love using this lens for portraits. So I just want to say I got really lucky with this lens. I saw it for sale on the Facebook marketplace. It was, someone was selling for 160. I picked it up for 160. It has some blemishes here and there. The wording is coming off from it. But other than that, it still performs perfectly well. There's no dust in it. Other than that, it's still good. I was really like, oh, $160. I don't know. And you had this little dent. Went there, tried it worked perfectly perfectly on my Nikon D80 that I had at the time with me and it worked perfectly fine and could not believe it. Uh, if you bought an awesome lens for a price, comment below. Let me know how much you bought your lens for at an awesome sweet deal. So yeah, like I said previously, this lens is a lot sharper than the 50 millimeter 1.8G. Uh, I'm not putting the 50 millimeter down, but if you're looking for something that's sharper in image quality, this one is definitely a lot sharper than the 50. And even though it's a little bulkier, it's a very nice balance on your Nikon DSLR. I've used this on the D40, the D200, the D300, and the D3, and it feels very well balanced. I really like what Tamron did with this. So if you have this lens, comment below and let me know what you think about it. Overall, I definitely like it. If I had a choice between the 45 and the 50, I would probably go with the 45 just because I like the weight of it. It feels, for me personally, I feel more confident shooting with it. It produces sharper images and that vibration control is super helpful, especially if you're shooting in low light situations. So yeah, if you do have this lens, comment below and let me know what you think. I'll have a link below on where you can purchase this lens. If you do purchase it, seriously, thank you so much. It does really help me keep this channel going. And again, I don't think you'll be disappointed, especially if you've been using the 50 1.8 for so long and you're looking for something that's like a little more serious than the 50. A used 45 1.8 right now is a really good deal. I don't know if I would go to the 1.4G unless you really need the extra low light, but this 45 1.8 is really good. It's really sharp. That's the one thing that, you know, surprised me with this lens is like, it's sharp. So yeah, comment below. Would you prefer this 45 over your 50? The focal length is so close to each other. And if you've gotten this far in this video, please like and subscribe. I'll try to comment below just because I just want to hear your stories with the 45 or if you're contemplating about getting the 45 and you have questions, Ask those questions below and I'll try my best to answer. Just want to say thanks for watching everyone. See ya.